2021. The patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? That's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Taped interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I have yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest at school. A twenty-dollar prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, You must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! I swore I didn't. And he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. Patient interview 44. This is yet another interview with Edward Nigma. I have yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded. Whichever one he is, just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting. Hello, Miss Young. You look tired. Anything you need my help with? No, thank you, Edward. I am here to help you. We all are. <laughs> Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well... You're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry. I'm sure you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doctor. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down! Get out! Go on! Let's discuss your obsession with Batman. Hardly an obsession, Miss Young. I simply feel an obligation to expose him. You know who he is? More important, I know what he is. What do you mean? It's obvious. The mask, the weapons, the scare tactics. He's a criminal. No different than Joker, Two-Face, or myself. Most people consider him a hero. Most people are idiots. They can't see Batman for the villain he is. Riddle me this! How did he get his car and his gadgets? I don't... With money stolen from the criminals he defeats. Why does Gordon turn a blind eye to his antics? Batman bribes him! The answers are right in front of your stupid, gawking face! Edward, please, calm down. Wake up, Gotham! <laughs> no sane, law-abiding man does those things. No one's that selfless. Batman is as vile as they come. Security! Security! This is my final interview with Edward gone as far as I can. I can no longer tolerate his mood swings and tantrums. I have more important work to be getting on with. He will be transferred to Dr. Whistler's care as of next week. Good morning, Doctor. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you, Edward. You're in a good mood. I'm always in rare spirits when I'm about to be released. Edward, you know you don't come up for parole for another three years. First thing I'll do is have dinner at that Italian place on 19th Street. Seriously, Edward. I only hope Joker hasn't completely trashed the city. 
Oh well, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Wait, have you been in contact with the Joker? He escaped Arkham weeks ago. And yet, one hears things. What things? What you heard? Oh, something about a surprise party for Batman. I forget the rest. You know Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward, if you know anything, you've got to tell me. Lives could be at stake. What did Joker say? You forget, Doctor. I'm the one who asks the riddles.